Hi, we're going to have a look at the Janome FM725 embellishing machine. An embellishing machine like this is slightly different from a normal sewing machine. You don't have to worry about winding bobbins, threading needles, it doesn't use any thread at all to join the fabrics. What you'll find is an embellishing machine has five needles instead of the normal one, and each needle is covered with lots and lots of tiny barbs. Every time the needles penetrate the surface of your fabric, they draw threads through the fabric to the underneath layers. This means that you can easily apply wool, ribbons, all sorts of different textile materials and join them together to make some really interesting textile effects. The first technique I'm going to show you is how to build a piece of textural fabric. We'll use a piece of base fabric, I've chosen an acrylic felt, and some wool tops to build our base structure. Laying strips of the wool tops onto the fabric means that we can use the embellishing machine, much like a needle felter, to punch the wool tops through the acrylic felt and create a very own piece of textured fabric. All you need to do is lay strips of wool tops onto the acrylic until you're happy with your overall layout. Once you've created something that you like the look of, you'll need a piece of netting. This netting lays on top of all of your fabrics and holds everything in place while the embellishing machine works. It's not essential, but it does hold everything down and it doesn't get caught in the final fabrics, so it can be easily removed when you're finished. A few dressmaking pins through the entire surface will just hold everything in place while you're working on the embellishing machine. we're ready to start embellishing. To start the embellishing process, first of all make sure that your machine is turned off. Check that the needles are in the up position and lift the presser foot. You can then position your fabric underneath the presser foot before lowering it. Drop the needles to the down position before you start and when you're ready to go, turn the machine on and apply pressure to the pedal. The speed that the machine works is dependent on how much pressure you apply to the pedal. Keep moving your fabric in circular or side to side movements until you've worked the felt thoroughly through the surface. The embellishing machine should always be run at full speed or you risk breaking your needles. The barbs on the needles push the wool tops through your fabric and you can see that on the reverse of your material after you've been working on it for some time. Keep going until you've worked your entire surface. Once you've worked over the entire surface of your piece of fabric and you can see that your wool tops are showing through on the reverse side, you're ready to go on to the next stage. The netting that you applied on the surface should peel cleanly away. There's no fibres in the netting to actually be joined onto your fabric. Once you've got a nice smooth surface, which is your base fabric to work on, we can start applying just about anything you like. Wool, fibres, pieces of fabric, bits of ribbon, anything that takes your imagination. All you need to do is arrange them on the surface of your fabric, cover it back up with your net and repeat the embellishing process. The process for embellishing for this step is exactly the same as the first. Make sure that your machine has its needles in the up position, raise the presser foot and position your fabric underneath. Then lower the presser foot, place the needles in the down position and when you're ready to go, turn on the machine. Use the foot pedal to control the speed and work over the entire area where you've added new materials and new textures. Once you've worked over the entire surface, your piece of fabric's finished. When you peel the netting away from the surface of your fabric, once you've finished the embellishing process, you'll discover your very own unique piece of textural fabric.
The embellishing machine is not just about joining layers together. You can create some really interesting textures on fabrics like organza and silk. Every time the needle penetrates the surface of the fabric, it gathers and ruches the material together. Try using your embellishing machine with more hard wearing fabrics like denim and cotton. You can make some really interesting distressed effects by working on the front and the reverse. You can even make holes through your fabric if that's what you're looking for. The Janome embellishing machine is definitely an asset to any craft room. There's so many different effects that you can achieve with this one simple machine.